about seven or eight months ago, you guys, you guys already know, Mike Brown was shot. An unarmed African-American man shot by the police. Then you had Tamar Rice. Then you had Eric Garner. Now the police have basically, you know, aimed their guns towards Hispanics in the new, or brown folks, in the new wave of unarmed police shootings. Police have shot Antonio Zambrano, Montez, in Washington State, and people are saying this could be the next Ferguson. Here are the facts. In Pasco, Washington, the police shot and killed Antonio Zambrano Montes, an unarmed 35-year-old Hispanic man on February 10th. The shooting caught on tape led to protests in Pasco, where the government and police remain largely white, even though the city is largely Hispanic. The shooting also drew, drew condemnation from the Mexican president and multiple governmental investigations, according to the New York Times. This is on tape. Cell phone video shows that Montez... A uh, Mexican national running away from the cops after allegedly throwing a rock at a police car, according to New York Times. At one point, Montez turns around and the police open fire and kill him. This video, America, is alarming. The police arrested um, Montez for assaulting an officer in January 2014, according to the Times. But police said that he had just thrown an object at them and they tried to grab and tried to grab an officer's gun. Um, he pleaded guilty in, in June, so he did plead guilty to that charge. Family of the, so there, like, there's no question that this individual has a history. But does that history justify open killing season? Of course it doesn't. Of course it does not. But this is what we know to be the truth about the particular case. That he leaves behind, you know, his wife and his daughter. Um, and beyond that, here are the similarities between this case and the Michael Brown case in Ferguson. The first, and this is like I say, and I said this earlier this week, I was on a panel and I said this same thing. You just can't look at the murder of an unarmed person in a vacuum, because that's wrong. You guys look at all the mitigating, all the circumstances that got you there, right? Because a lot of these, like, so one third of any of these cases is what happens during the actual crime. Or what happens during the actual, like, you know, 30 to, you know, 30 second to, in, my, in Eric Garner's case, 11 minute exchange between the police officer and the person and, and the victim, right? The two thirds of the whole situation is stuff that's compounded from years and years and years of racism, years and years and years of xenophobia, years and years and years of economic inequality. And this case is no different. In Ferguson, just like in Pasco, um, you have a racial disparity between the city's residents and local government. Pasco is nearly 56% Hispanic, but its local government isn't representative, isn't representative of the city's racial makeup. Of the 68 officers in this particular town, only 14 are Hispanic. A dozen, 12 of those, of those 68 officers speak Spanish fluently. And some residents cite language barriers. And that just makes like common sense. You're telling me to run. You're telling me to stop. I don't know what the hell stop means. You're telling me to put my hands up. You, I don't know what the hell that means. I don't speak English. I don't know. I don't know. Right? The five members of the school board are all Caucasian. And they oversee a 70% Latino school system. The seven-person city council only has one Latino representative when it should be four Latino representatives. So this is the, so the same holds true, right? In between this, the, what happened in St. Louis and Ferguson, the St. Louis suburb is 67% black. No white, there was only two white black, two, what, two or three minorities on the police force. Same exact raw materials. And let me tell you something. If there's wood, right, and there's smoke, Right, and there's loose papers all over the place. America, you're gonna have a fire. It's like leaving a candle on and going to work. They expect there not to be a fire in your house and you return. So here is the thing. Once again, we have another situation where a man of color is killed unarmed by the police department and wait for it, you guessed it, the police believe they've done nothing wrong. Of course they do. They always think they do nothing wrong, America.
But the truth is that you need to turn the mirror inside. This is not the first time, not the second time, or the third time that this has happened. We're in the 20s. This is the hundredth time that this has happened. America, we need to have a conversation about race, and we need to have a conversation about difference, and it cannot happen any sooner than right now. Let's just be real. <music>